Hi everyone and welcome to this new series focusing on using different methods for geolocation. I'm Ben and I'm really excited to share this stuff with you. So settle in, get your maps ready and let's get started on episode one of Let's Geolocate. I'm so excited to kick this series off with some of the coolest things you can find on Google Earth. Massive art pieces seen from space. Many of them have since been removed or have eroded, but they're still visible on Google Earth and Google Maps as you're about to see. In the spirit of this channel being tutorial based, I've listed the links to the images we will be finding the locations of in the description below. The coordinates are next to them. Feel free to pause before each one in this video and have a go at finding those locations. All you'll need to do that is Google Maps, the desktop version of Google Earth and a keen eye. Otherwise, sit back, relax, as we explore the world of art from above. First up is this very large piece on top of a building that we can see here. It's a person with a blue cap and perhaps a swimming outfit. So what we can see is that it says uh, ST plus ART, uh, start maybe, uh, Goa, which is the name of a place. Uh, it says that this piece is in Panjim. So I'm going to take a look at this place and see uh, maybe if we can have a look around this area. It's quite a big area, so maybe uh, we'll have to have a look for a few more details. Now it's directly overlooking the sea. It looks like we have quite a large highway a large big bush so I'm going to have a look at a place that perhaps hmm might have these kind of red and white tiles next to them a large highway and right next to the ocean we've got some unique features and this is a pretty unique building too with these two kind of holes in here and this this kind of unique shape so I'm going to have a look around next to the coastline I can see a main road that might be coming along here Looks like quite a large main road. There's a highway up here as well. And if we zoom in a little bit more, we've got this building here. Now I can't see the art on that building. So we might have to go back a little bit in time to see if it's there. What we can do is use our Google Earth for that. So I'm going to go straight to those coordinates that we just found on Google Maps. Okay, we've got that location and I'm going to click on my historical, historical function and let's scroll back in time. I can see some paint on top of that building, February. I think we have to go back a little bit longer. Hey, so here we are in April 2021. Maybe the artwork might be a little bit fresher. In, two, in late 2019, so the end of December 2019, here we have the image. Lovely. So this is the first piece of art that we can see in this area. And it's quite nice to sort of be able to find this stuff on Google Earth because as you can see, if we have a look at the top of that building, there's only slight remnants. We can even see trace lines of that. But going back to that sort of end period of 2019, we can see that that piece of art is very much clear and present on that one. The second piece that we have is a really cool piece from Kit Bennett, uh, who is a artist primarily doing art in Australia. This one's actually quite easy because someone has posted a Google Maps link in there. So let's check out that Google Maps link and see if we can identify that place on there. I'm gonna click my satellite tile on Google Maps here and zoom right in. And hey, here we can see that image. We might be able to see that a little bit clearer on Google Earth, perhaps. Let's have a look if we can see that. Zooming in, some of the satellite imagery, as you can see, just isn't as clear as we'd like it to be on Google Earth. We can go back in 2019, 2018. We can see it there. Mm, early 2018, not there. Late 2018, very nice shot. And I think that's the same shot that we see on Google Maps there. Great, so we've got that one. That was actually quite an easy example and you can see how some of these range in difficulty. 
Great, let's go to the third one, Magic Carpet. This one's quite an interesting one because first and foremost, we have a large view in the background. In going through the comments section of this, I always like to, as we had for the last one, we had a Google Maps link. So let's have a look at the comments of here and maybe see if we can pick up anything. We have someone saying, thought out winkles, uh, look at the fun new magic carpet, right, uh, carpet art right at my place. Cool. So where's thought out winkles placed? This is a handmade jewelry store in Charlotte, NC. Great. So let's go to Charlotte. Now the reason why I find this quite useful, the city, is because we have this city view up the top here. And we also have this large train line. So thinking back to the first one, which was quite easy, we had the road, city in the background, train line right there. Let's have a look at this place on Google Earth. And we now have the city view of Charlotte. I'm going to click on a really useful function here, which is roads. I'm also going to have a look at other features that we have. So transportation, and then I might even click off roads and have a look at that transportation. The reason why I clicked on the transportation is because what it does is it shows me clear train lines running into the city. Now, remember back to the picture that we had, the picture was showing this building and this building. Now these buildings should be quite identifiable so I'm going to go to the city. So I've got my 3D buildings on. I've got these buildings viewed. And I want to be just looking at the left of this building here. So I'm going back from South End. I need to look for this kind of path along the side here with these buildings and this car park as well. So I'm going to work my way back from that location. We have these buildings match up with this one here. We have these buildings on the right and what do we have down here? Perfect. Our nice little piece of art. Great. That one's identifiable and maybe we can even go back in time on this as well. 2021. We have a really good image of it. 2018 still there. Let's go to this 2016 image. Yay. And that's the angle that this photo would have been taken at. Great, so we found that one. Let's move on to number four, which is Lilith and Olaf. I really like this one. It's done by the same artists as number one. Um, it's a really huge piece. This is actually a video on YouTube. It's a drone video. And you'll start to get a, a sense of the scale of size. So you can see the people here who filmed this video. You can see this one, who I believe was Olaf. It seems quite big but definitely not the biggest. And this is actually really why I like this kind of art because it just shows like how much effort has been put into it and how difficult it would be to really paint something like this without getting lost, without having that kind of overhead view. So this is obviously quite a large mural. So what we're seeing is kind of like a, like a factory style building. Already I can see that in this building we've got like these green rows and then there seems to be like lines across it, little towers. And these kind of things, these tracks in the middle. So it's next to railway tracks, which if you think about the last one, is probably something quite definitive that we can look for. Huge industrial area and in, in that kind of neighborhood as well. So I'll click on here for more details. It says the mural was completed in Klepp, Rogaland. So let's have a look for that location. I'll go back to Google Earth because this was made in 2015. So perhaps we might not be able to see it in fresh satellite imagery, I'm not too sure, or, or, or whatever recent satellite imagery we have. Now I'm looking for kind of like that train line next to a large project or a large kind of warehouse industrial area. I can see in the middle of Klepp they've got an industrial area here. Just from the outset of things I'm not really seeing a train line next to any of these and I'm also not seeing any buildings that seem to match that scale instead of, except for this, which this one seems to have like a, a few more finished ends, is, is in a commercial area. This seems to be more like a, a, a car park and not that kind of industrial area. Got one down here that could be something, but again that train line is kind of missing for me. So I think I might have a look at surrounding areas. I just noticed while zooming out that we've got this kind of line, because don't forget I've still got my transportation line turned on to show up. 
which is really helpful. So we've got a train line here. There's an industrial area along here, so I might just start following this around Clep and see if there's any industrial areas that kind of match what I'm looking for around Clep next to a train line. So I might keep following this train line up, see if there's anything around here, nothing there, nothing there, anything around here. Hey, I think I might have something here. Cool. So this looks like our Lilith and Olaf that we have here. There's the little happy man with the uh, person with the little crown, which is really cool. It looks like it's kind of in that similar stage of construction as well. We can even see those little panels facing out, which is a very similar time frame. We can have a look back a little bit more. So you see like in May 2022, that's super faded. Go back to 2021, 2019, still quite faded. 2018, I might go back a few more years, like maybe 2015, 2014, no. Cool, so 2017 seems to be the clearest. That's also the, the standard image. I think that's probably the same image that you might have on Google Maps. So there we are, there's our Lilith and Olaf uh, that we found. Um, again, using train lines, which seems to be the winner here. Cool, so let's go to number five, Sleeping Rosa. Uh, Sleeping Rosa is again one from uh, Ella and Peter. This one is in Rotterdam uh, in the Netherlands. Just looking at this image already, I can see it's kind of next to a port. It seems to be one of the industrial buildings next to it. It's got a couple of like buildings there next to a green patch. Possibly a train line or possibly a cart line for storage or something like that. Uh, it actually says Masilo, Rotterdam. So I'm going to take this address and pop that into Google Earth. Let's go over to Rotterdam. Great, takes me to Masilo and takes me actually to the exact uh, image that I believe we're looking for. This is on the 3D building. Uh, so we can see it's next to the water. I'm gonna go off 3D by going back in time. And let's go back to when that might've been made. So it was, this photo was taken in 2019, pretty clear there, June, 2019. So I'm gonna take this one back to 2019, yeah. Um, here is June, not on the rooftop then, but in August, lovely. Really clean image, what is referred to as Sleeping Rosa. This one is uh, a favorite one of mine. It's these large spiders that are on top of this building. I think this is a pretty cool one. If you scroll down, you can maybe see some of the some of the images that this guy does. He does like 3D murals, which are pretty awesome. Let's have a look for this one. It's it's actually kind of a close-up picture of him, but I wanted to find what rooftop uh, he actually did this on. So we can skip through his photos and maybe find the other photos. So here it is. This is quite awesome seeing that and I definitely want to see that on Google Maps so I'm sure you guys do too. So we can see like a really nice shot here like here's him with the picture with it and this tower in the background. We have this tower here as well. For those of you that don't know what the tower is, well I can't really tell you that. But what we can do is we can ask Google through a Google image reverse search. So that tower is apparently the Space Needle in Seattle. So I'm gonna go to the Space Needle in Seattle on Google Maps. Space Needle, cool, it's even giving me a street, uh, Broad Street. Now, I think we're gonna have to do a bit of tricky geolocation, maybe, I don't know how difficult this is gonna be, to see where this might be. It seems to be quite close to the tower and there's the Space Needle there. So maybe we can like look around. I'm gonna open this up in Google Earth. The reason why I like to open this stuff up in Google Earth is just because of the kind of pivoting that we're able to do. So I'm going to reopen the kind of 3D view that we usually have uh, on Google Maps. But this allows me just to get a little bit more into the street level detail uh, of what we can see here and really pivot around to recreate that photo. So if we go back to this image, we're kind of looking at a specific angle of this. So we've got these kind of like lattice bits on the side of this. Um, if we have a close look at it, they're really only on two sides. And hey, I've just pivoted this and it was actually a bit closer than I originally expected. But hey, here's our spiders. We can even see his name. And yeah, there's the spiders. How awesome is that? 
So let's go for the next one. Um, so this is actually an image I came across. It was by the British Airways i360. So this is obviously from them um, or, or, or something of that uh, quite near them. So I'm just going to go and have a look at that. It's in Brighton. We've also got this kind of art and believe they're graphic artists from Brighton as well. So it, it matches up. It's quite helpful. Immediately just on the sort of outset of things, I can see this one right here. I'm going to open that same one up in Google Earth just for the spinning effect, but also so we can go back in time and see perhaps when that was made. Uh, so I have my 3D buildings turned on and we can see that at the top uh, of this building here. Let that render a bit better. Nice, and we can see that there. That's so cool. And you can see the art and believe um, on the side of that. Really quite a, a cool illustration made probably for planes flying over. Um, not sure if they intended for this to be viewed by satellite imagery. Brighton's actually a beautiful city to look at on uh, Google Earth or Google Maps. For example, just next door at what I believe is the Hilton because it's written on the top there. Um, we have like this, the one with the glasses and we heart Brighton. And there's a lot of little treasures that you can find uh, around Brighton, even this kind of like painting in front of it, in front of this down here as well. Um, really beautiful place to look at. Uh, and that's the British Airways disc that sort of goes up and down there. We also have this one over here with the, the windmill. So that's just quite a cool little one to find and to have a look around that area to see if there's any Easter eggs that maybe artists have hidden on rooftops for us to find. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this session going through some of these awesome art displays that are really probably made for uh, anyone with a drone or anyone flying over, but indirectly also made for us, the watchers on Google Earth. If you have any art pieces yourself that you've found or that you think are cool, please pop them in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see them um, and check them out. And if you have any other uh, requests for me to find specific pieces of art and see if we can find them on satellite imagery as well, ping them through in the comments section and uh, I'll check them out and get back to you. Really hope you enjoyed this session. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you very, very soon for another episode of Let's Geolocate.